And welcome back to Xeno Gears. Faye has just beaten the rancor with his new gear Vital. And apparently he broke it. The gear is not going to move until it gets fixed. I'm gonna let them talk for a while. I'm gonna stay silent mostly.
Okay, now Satan has joined. Has joined the party. And... Bit of an interesting character. He's actually stronger than Faye is in just about every way. He just lacks any sort of physical... He just lacks any attack ether powers. But he can heal, and he's stronger than Faye, higher HP. Maybe lower defense through most of the game, but overall a better fighter. Ooh, an, an airship. I don't care if you think I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm going to call that country Avis. And the country they're fighting is called Kislev. And Solaris's army is called Gebler. That's what I'm going to call it. And if you have problems with that, then you can shove it up your ass. Flying airships. Oh, and yes, Gebler is where that second wave of gears that came down and fought Faye and Lahan. They were shooting at him and everything. The ones that killed Timothy and where Ellie is from. Take a look at Saiten. There's a um, dazzle thing, or dazzle, or whatever. Notice how he, despite being several levels slower than Faye, his attack power is equal, and most of his stats are either equal or higher. It's really not even right. Especially his HP, it's over 100% higher. Okay, so I got a couple of minutes before I need to end this episode, and I don't really have any more storyline to go through. So I'm just going to recap a little bit on what has happened so far. We have two countries, Aerith and Kislev. Duking it out. Well, the this religious group called the Ethos go and they dig up the gears out of the ground. They were buried in there after some war that happened hundreds of years before. They discovered them, repaired them, and put them into use. They gave them to both sides of the war. So, each side took these things and started attacking each other with them. And they started... Uh, what's the word? Excavating them on their own. And pushing them into service. Kislev, with a combination of probably better leadership and more gears in their ruins, were able to get stronger and eventually they gained the upper hand and started winning the war. Well, Gebler, for whatever reason, came in and allied themselves with Avith. Now, Gebler having their super advanced military more than even the odds and Avith was winning the war again well Gebler goes and I'm going to have to continue this in the next episode I'll do that right now